It has now been more than a month since a crash into the life of an Edmond police officer. Sergeant C.J. Nelson was on duty when he and several other drivers were hit at a stoplight on the Broadway extension. Now his family is suing the driver charged in the crash along with the driver's employer at the time. News Force Caitlin Ogle is looking over the lawsuit for us. Caitlin. Well, these court documents show Sergeant Nelson's family and their attorneys allege Coots Roofing should have never let Jay fight behind the wheel of one of their commercial vehicles on the day of the crash. The family of Sergeant Nelson, um, you know, clearly feels like, and, and rightfully so, that they should be compensated for what the driver did. New court documents reveal Kuntz Roofing and their alleged employee, Jay Fight, are now at the center of a wrongful death lawsuit. July 19th, Oklahoma City Police say Fight slammed his Kuntz Roofing work truck into Sergeant C.J. Nelson's motorcycle along the Broadway extension, killing the 38-year-old father of two. According to police, blood tests show Fight had meth in his system at the time of the crash. Now attorneys allege the company should have known about Fight's prior substance use and his, quote, moving violations while operating commercial vehicles. Legal expert Ed Blau taking a look at the lawsuit, giving us an impartial opinion. There's no requirement that companies that have company vehicles that, that their employees drive have any type of drug testing. They should always do a full background check to see if there's anything in their past. Um, if there is, then that's a major red flag. The other thing it's alleging is that the company did not have adequate training and, and ongoing uh, supervision of their drivers. We tried calling Kuntz Roofing at all three locations, but each time... Please leave your message after the tone. We even went to the Edmund business, and after several knocks on the locked door, no answer. And according to court records, Fight has only had a couple of speeding tickets. We also called and left a message for the attorney for Nelson's family, but we never heard back. They're seeking $100,000 in damages.